Hey guys, Perigi here. In this video, we're going to create these two landing page designs in Figma. Now, I also want to remind you that I recently launched a new Figma and also the Adobe XD course, which is going to take you from beginner to advanced in no time. So feel free to check them out in my courses page. And now without further ado, let's get started with the video. So we're back in Figma and uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to change the background since I like to work with uh, a lighter background and uh, let's also double click on the file name and let's rename it to website. Now after that let's go on to the frame and let's uh, click on desktop and we're going to select 1440 pixels of width. And let's also double click on the name so that we can rename it to one. And after that, we're going to simply start adding uh, the first elements. And uh, in order to do that, we're going to use Nucleo icons, which uh, you can find at nucleoapp.com. It's a free icon organizer, which is going to save you tons of time. And I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever. I just love uh, this uh, icon organizer. Um, if you want to try another one, which is also really good, uh, you can use icon jar or any other one really, but those are the two which I used primarily over the past uh, you know, eight years working as a designer. So the, those are my go-to if you wish. Now let's uh, go ahead and let's uh, start creating uh, the layout grid. So we're going to go with columns and we're going to add 12 columns and let's add some margins on the side in order to give it some breathing room and uh, what we're gonna do next is we're going to change the color of these columns in the grids in order to make them more subtle so that we can focus more on the design as we are creating it all right so we have the top menu now let's use the text tool in order to add the basic navigation menu and uh, we're going to stick with uh, Montserrat, which is a free Google web font. You can simply go on Google, search for Montserrat font, uh, and you're going to find it right away. Simply click on the download button and uh, you'll be good to go, really. So I'm going to duplicate this by using Shift and the Option key and then uh, Command D and just two times. I'm going to write here Services. Here we're going to write FAQ and then we're going to write Contacts. And uh, let's make these, uh, instead of 16, let's make it 14. And I'm going to select it, group them all together by using Command G, and then click on center in order to center these guys out. Now I'm going to also bring these to the very size of the columns. We're going to use this nice tool, which is uh, distribute horizontal spacing. So we can uh, basically distribute them in an easy way. All right, so far so good. Let's select this element. Let's deselect the group and let's copy it again so that we can copy it outside of the group. And let's write uh, over here, get started. And we're going to have uh, a button. So let's uh, bring this uh, to the very back. Let's bring this one so that uh, it's going to essentially um, fit well in the composition and let's just change the color of the text. All right, so far so good. Now let's uh, go one second back into nuclear icons since we're going to need uh, some other icons. The first one is going to be location and we're going to use uh, a simple location icon. Let's uh, maybe select uh, uh, Maybe this one here and uh, let's add also another one which is going to be the search and we just need the irregular search icon which uh, i think this one would work pretty well all right let's select both let's unframe these and uh, let's increase uh, the size of uh, these icons right here and let's make them uh, a little bit more separated from each other and uh, vertically centered. All right, I think they're looking pretty good. 
Now let's just decrease uh, the uh, the fill. And uh, now what we're gonna do is we're going to start having f some fun with the text. So let's go over here. Let's start adding uh, the text, uh, um, pushing innovation. Let's increase the size uh, quite a bit. I'm going to make it really, um, yeah, let's, let's even bring it one step further and let's uh, just go ahead and let's really make this headline huge. So, all right, let's go over here and let's write a, a series one. Let's make it light or even extra light since this is going to be in the background and covering the entire uh, width really. So let's just make it like that. We're going to give it a, maybe like 10% of opacity, something around these lines. Let's try and make this one semi bold, maybe just a little bit smaller. And uh, for some reason, I would like this to be even lighter. So ideally you want to use the same font, but I'm going to cheat. Uh, and this is something that uh, you shouldn't usually do, but I'm going to add uh, a stroke inside in order to <laughs> decrease uh, the, uh, the font here. So this is not ideal. You can definitely break the font. Uh, you should use it very, sparingly in a case by case scenario. But um, I think it, it would have just helped uh, in general. And we're probably going to change things anyways, uh, since uh, we're going to duplicate this right now. Let's start adding some lipsum text, which I'm using uh, with uh, a text at the moment. So I'm just going to go ahead over here, uh, decrease the size of all this uh, uh, huge uh, text. Let's make it uh, 400. Let's bring it here. So what I'm doing guys is essentially I'm, I'm adding some some text just before we get uh, the <clears throat> 3D illustrations on the page. So that we can uh, start uh, playing around with some concepts and, and some ideas regarding this. So okay, the text for some reason is behaving uh, really weirdly and that is because it's inside of the group so be sure that not to have it inside of the group and now we're going to have a look and leverage this uh, amazing new 3d illustration kit from ui8.net which is called bento 3d i'm going to leave the link, the link in the description but as you can see they essentially have uh, um, all sorts of different uh, 3D elements, which look really, really cool. Um, they also have it inside the Figma and the sketch file. And uh, as you can see here, as I just downloaded this, uh, we have the Figma file, we have the sketch file, but in our case, we're simply going to leverage uh, the individual scenes uh, and uh, the uh, in, in a PNG format, since uh, that would actually be enough. So as you can see by default, uh, you have to go around uh, like one by one. But one thing that I really like to do whenever I'm, I'm looking at, at these uh, is to go into the gallery mode in a finder, just because it makes it uh, easier to kind of like view. And uh, ideally you can do that even like side by side uh, and whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we can select this, uh, <laughs> of course, uh, this is not going to work uh, just when I'm doing the video. Okay, there we go. So we're probably going to select uh, uh, either this one or this one here looks pretty cool. So let's start adding uh, and literally dragging and dropping these, uh, these files inside our Figma file as that's going to be the most efficient way to actually see if they're going to, to work in our specific context or which one actually is going to work better. So let's go ahead over here and let's decrease uh, the size of this one, for example, and let's uh, just bring it all the way to the back. 
so as you can see it's uh, it's quite uh, <clears throat> it's quite a composition what we want to do here is uh, we're just going to go with uh, the darker version I believe and uh, that's going to be a decision that we made afterwards so this is to show you that uh, we're not uh, we don't always have the answers as we're designing uh, things I rarely do um, it's all about experimenting and trying different things uh, and really seeing uh, what's uh, gonna work uh, in a specific uh, scenario so I'm going to go with linear I'm going to go with uh, a linear which is uh, kind of like going from edge to edge so let's try something around these lines and uh, this could be quite interesting so yeah at this point i want to get rid of the layout grids simply because uh, they're kind of confusing me at this point and uh, yeah, I think uh, this can be useful. I'm not too sure about this uh, <clears throat> this massive text anymore. So what we're going to do is uh, we're essentially going to bring this uh, all the way here. Bring this one uh, over this side. Just make it a bit smaller and also decrease uh, the line height uh, as we previously had all right so we're probably going to simply duplicate this uh, this text and uh, we're going to or actually this button and uh, we're going to essentially add uh, an input field right over here and this one's going to be enter your email and let's make this one lighter let's make this one white all right so far so good and uh, one more thing that uh, we could definitely add uh, considering the context uh, is uh, we could have uh, some sort of uh, a some element here below so probably let's add a scroll and let's go ahead and duplicate this rectangle let's bring it down over here let's increase the radius to go all the way and we're going to make this 1.5 and let's also add a line here in between since that's going to make it look like a mouse essentially so let's go over here so the rounded cap and let's maybe make this a little bit smaller let's group it all the way together and uh, here we have our base now i want to increase the size uh, also of these guys and i just want to be sure that uh, the font uh, doesn't have like some uh, some weird values or you know rounded elements and whatnot so let's uh, bring this one here again let's try and see if there is like a fit uh, to add it somewhere maybe at the very bottom just to add a little bit of uh, visual differentiation to this let's maybe duplicate this and, and try a different uh, color combination so let's say that we're going with uh, a more intense uh, uh, value let's see how this is looking now of course we will need to change also these elements right here since uh, they will need to stand out more 
Um, but yeah, this could uh, definitely be a cool alternative to the first one. And uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with this. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I want to remind you that on my channel, I have over 400 videos on uh, UI UX tutorials and also freelancing advice from my over eight years of experience. So feel free to check, to check them out if uh, this was useful and I'll see you in the next one.